It's the weirdest voice in the world. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay, and but we have a couple, uh, one more minute before we get started. We never start late, but we don't start early either because nobody's late yet. <clears throat> but we don't wait for anybody. Got to be here on the dot or you're going to miss the training. And so those people that text me and say, hey, why isn't anybody talking? I'm like, dude, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. It's the early birds that get the worm. All right. Kathleen, we like starting our day with you too, gorgeous. <laughs> Don't tell Mark. <laughs> morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good Do you believe we're going into summertime? <laughs> You're right. Oh, are you snowing in Montana? It snowed all day Saturday and all day Sunday. <gasps> so. Nice. Oh boy. It just hit the top of the yard. At least you're getting fire. moisture. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. I keep saying. <clears throat> just hit the top of the hour, guys. Welcome to the call. Appreciate you coming this morning. Uh, <laughs> we are gonna talk last last week. Uh, Cindy talked with you some about the uh, social media training we were on with Fraser Brooks right. and Jesse Lee Ward. I am going to add some information to that. Maybe even uh, I might say something again, might repeat something that Cindy said. But uh, this morning, there was some training that wasn't only about social media there. Um, Fraser Brooks has a great one. He says he lives by the one-to-one -one rule. And I think this is really important because a lot of times we get into this training thing and just get, you know, delve into it. And geez, if I get this training, if I get this training... He, is, he follows the one-to-one -one rule. So he takes one step forward in learning and educating himself and getting things done. The next, that's with the left foot. The next step is with the right foot, and that's on doing it or implementing or utilizing what he's just learned, okay? Because if you sit there and just learn, and you're stepping forward with your, light, your left foot, and then you step forward with your left foot again, and step forward again, you just end up going around in circles, and you're not going anywhere, right? And if it happens the other way, and you're just trying to do, but you're, you're repeating the same thing that's not working, and you're putting your right foot forward, right foot forward, you're just going to go around in a circle the other way. So basically, what we want to do is we want to learn more, and then do more, learn more, and do more. Does that make sense? So let's stop worrying about the worst case scenario, what's going to happen, and start thinking about the best case scenario. That I loved, he brought up. Stop worrying about the worst case scenario, start thinking about the best case scenario, because it's there for you if you're in the right vibration, right? So here's some of the tips that they shared, and it's pretty much about Facebook. Uh, you can use it in some other, in some other different uh, social media sites or whatever. But he says, when someone likes your post, if you're making posts and you get just a like, or you get a, a heart, or you get something like that, he says, what you want to do is you want to comment back in Messenger. And this is how you get, you're kind of grabbing on people and finding your tribe. You're going to say, hey, name, whatever their name is. Hey, Mary, thank you for liking or commenting on my post. I was wondering, were you just supportive or were you... Or would you like some information on what I do and just put a little smiley face, right? So, hey, Mary, thank you for liking or commenting on my post. I was wondering, were you just being supportive or would you like some information on what I do and a smiley face? And whatever they, if it's a comment, match their energy, right? If they put emojis on it, put an emoji on your response, on your, when you're responding back, if they only do a few words, do a few words. If they do a whole sentence, do a whole sentence. But one thing we're gonna, I'm gonna just reiterate that we talked about yesterday is what Fraser Brooks said, one hack with Facebook is when you comment back, you comment uh, and understand one thing quickly here. When I'm talking about that, hey, Mary, thank you for liking my post and everything, do that on Messenger, okay? Don't do that in the comments section. It's kind of, you know, in the reply or whatever, do that on Messenger. But um, when, you're, when you are replying or commenting in someone else's post, make sure you, to use five words or more because Facebook looks at that and they think, okay, 
this isn't just someone, you know, with a thumbs up or somebody. These guys are in a conversation, so they must have a relationship. Does that make sense? All of a sudden you're using a little more words, so it seems like you're speaking in a conversation. And you want to talk to people like you like to be spoken with. Um, like, and that when I say that, I mean spoken with, in conversation with. Don't speak to people. Okay, when you're speaking to people or at people, it kind of comes at them in a, in a different way than when you're speaking with them and in communication for same. So uh, here's something you can do. And when maybe they say, uh, you know, you just get a like or something like that, you may get back with them and, hey, I was wondering if you were just being supportive, would you uh, like some information? And one of your opening lines could be, hey, what do you know about blank and blank? What do you know about blank and blank? Like, what do you know about health and wellness? What do you know about anti-aging and skin care? What do you know about anti-aging and redox? Hey, what do you know about energy and sleep? I mean, energy and sleep, holy crap, if we just hit about 75% of the, you know, the, the global population. So it's just a good opening line, something that you, you always want to end your comments with a question with a call to action of sort, okay? Because that way we're basically, we are getting ourselves in a conversation and creating a relationship, right? So when you're tagging someone on, um, and this, this is really good, when you're tagging someone in the ATM or ad tag message, you have a video or something like that. Um, hey, would it be all right if I shared a video with you or something to that effect? Um, you send them the message and then you say something like uh, something really simple. Hey, can I tag you on a video? And once they're tagged, message them back via messenger. Tagged, exclamation point, tagged. And then you say, can you send me a thumbs up when you're done? It's a call to action, right? Also, you're not sitting there. It's not just sent out into the world. Tag somebody on a video, message them tagged. Can you send me a thumbs up when you're done? And if they end up sending me a thumbs up back, it means they're done, right? Ask them, does it make sense to you? Little smiley face or something. Uh, if they say yes, would you like me to send you your options? Guys, if we don't ask for the order, you're just being professional. It's not being rude. It's not being aggressive. It's nothing to that effect. If someone says no, you just say, uh, you know, or they have questions or something to that effect. You're going to ask them a question that brings you to the result you want. The question is, what questions can I answer for you to be able to get started? What questions can I answer for you to be able to get started? So now if someone shares your com your comment or your post, I mean, that's the biggest thing. Sharing, if someone shares your comment or post, that means they really resonated with what you were sending out. Um, basically what you wanna message them is you just say, hey, thanks for sharing my post. Just wondering, what did you like most about it? Thanks for sharing my post. Just wondering, what did you like most about it? Okay, so hopefully you guys took some good notes on that. I'm past my five minutes, but here's the assignment. Uh, basically, what I'd like you to do is during this 20 minutes, uh, go into Facebook, look at if people have commented, reacted, you know, the thumbs up, a smiley face or something like that to any of your posts. And if they do, if they have, then let's use some of these tools, right? Let's use a minimum of five words. Hey, were you just being supportive? Or would you like to learn about what I do? Any of this kind of stuff, opening lines, you know, what do you know about energy and sleep? What do you know about anti-aging and redox? Any of those types of things. So uh, you're gonna do that, or if you don't have a lot of posts that you've put in, then start looking at other posts and make comments on their posts to try and start these conversations, all right? Uh, and if you don't, do Facebook, which uh, is a shame because right now it really does seem to be the way in network marketing, then make some prospecting calls. But we'll be back at 925 and see how this works for you guys. I doubt you'll get responses right away, but I think it feels really good just to be getting into conversations with people in that way. So make sure you end everything with a call to action. 
and match their energy in the post. All right. 